about uh, 12 years back when we had uh, bought this land uh, it was two third of it was uh, barren my parents lived here and uh, they started uh, doing uh, plantation and uh, we essentially stuck to natural farming through the journey we learned that it's the trees which give the maximum resources tilling of a soil is a crime and uh, coupled with obviously there's no need for any chemical fertilizer no pesticide and we are here talking of regenerative farming it's a natural farming much beyond organic here we are talking of trees and bees and we have uh, evolved uh, over a period of time to harness the sun energy the maximum way by having a multi-layered farming and all of them as you see uh, they have symbiotic relationship here is a citrus which has a moringa supporting it they are intertwined intermingled and they're supporting each other so we have neem trees on the surrounding most of them are laden with guduchi this vine which goes on neem tree that is as far as the uh, surroundings are concerned as far as the main uh, field is concerned we have moringa beneath that we have tuar the cowpeas and beneath that we have vetiver and beneath that we have uh, turmeric and in other parts we have uh, in the last layer we have aloe vera and sweet potato so here we see that every bit of sun energy which falls in the farm so it comes first falls on the moringa tiny leaves filters through comes to the uh, citrus filters through comes to the uh, tuar or uh, cowpea and vetiver filters through the last dying ray also falls on turmeric so every bit of sun energy which falls is harvested comes the rains uh, we don't till the soil every bit of carbon which uh, soil is the largest depositor of carbon after the oceans so this soil is so rich in carbon because we don't till the soil before coming here we didn't really know exactly what it was and to which extent it would go but we what we saw here that was that natural farming is for us the most um, the closest imitation to, to nature here in in the in this food forest is exactly what nature does is that it grows the forest and then the food naturally comes out of it link between our life uh, our food and and the forest and so we realized this link there so now being here we have the real application of of this and we i think i we understood uh, how we can imitate nature for yeah better living a better food the crux of growing is that you have the biomass and the animal waste on the soil the bacteria and the fungi work on them and they decompose that comes the rains which takes this decomposed matter deep inside the soil becomes the food for microorganism earthworms and other small animals but after this with the help of the roots which are there in the soil this matter comes back to the surface of the soil and becomes the food for the plants we basically have built this food forest around bees and trees the simple thing is that they all they need is flowers and water so here on this farm we have ensured that round the year there are flowers for them just the presence of bees make the productivity of a farm up by 30% it is nothing short of remarkable uh, the ability to transform something which is really wasteland into a forest and a productive forest is uh, unique in so far as uh, my experience has gone we are a part of a very intelligent uh, system so instead of putting our uh, substandard knowledge to break that very intelligent system we should try to follow that or mimic that if the soil is uh, has life it can support more life in the industrial commercial farming what we have done is the first thing is that we have destroyed life out of soil which is uh, disastrous the temperature of this farm 
when we had bought, when my parents came to live here, is to go up to 49 degrees Celsius. Now it does not go past 36 and there is no severe winter. So you can create this piece of heaven everywhere. Food actually is a medicine. Anything which is grown in a pristine environment, bereft of uh, poison of any kind, uh, pesticide, herbicide, weedy side, fungicide, and uh, side is killing. <laughs> so if you are killing the life, be prepared to be killed, ultimately. The greatest of civilizations have been lost due to salinity of soil. And they talk of uh, uh, productivity in agriculture, that m uh, marginally if it goes up, we could be achieving great uh, growth rate. Uh, here, if you have four layer of farms, there's a minimum 200% of uh, growth is possible. And together, if you grow food forest like this, we can ultimately produce water. Trees are capable of producing water. So just imagine a scenario where 10% of our land can be devoted to this kind of a farming. Suddenly the whole canvas would change. It, this can reverse global warming. I understand that uh, the idea and the concept is going to expand. Hopefully it expands in many parts of India and creates a lot of green areas which are productive both for uh, human beings and for the wildlife which exists here. Farming is not only growing. Farming is perfecting a human being. What you want to learn from nature, what you want to be in life.